and welcome back to my bathroom. Yes, we are here once again to try out another product for my acne. It has gotten significantly better since I have started this product. The CeraVe was great and it did help, but I just really wanted to try Tretinoin. If you did not see my last update video, I did start using Tretinoin in October of last year, 2022, and I went through three months of it, and which was this bottle here. I got it from Apostrophe. Um, I did my research. There's a bunch of different companies out there that do this, uh, but I did my research and this one sounded like the best one, so that is what I have been using. I used this for three months. I got a mixture of tretinoin and azelaic acid. The tretinoin was 0.025% and the azelaic acid was 15%. And that is what I used for three months straight. And I started using it about twice a week and I worked my way up to every other day and that's what I did for those three months. And I just ordered my new prescription, which has been increased slightly. My tretinoin is now 0.05% and my azelaic acid is still 15%. Um, it says on here, apply half a pump to face nightly. Um, I've been using this every other night just to be safe because I do notice some dryness. It's not crazy, but I will notice some dryness like mainly around here. Um, I do use this, another CeraVe product, healing ointment um, around the cracks of my mouth and around the outer corners of my eyes just to make sure um, those places don't get extra crusty. I do have makeup on right now, but I do want to show you guys up close what like the texture looks like. I've had this on like all day, so it's not gonna look the greatest. I don't even know if you can see this. Okay, here, you can see the texture right here. Not as bad. Definitely not as bad as it was before. My forehead, I still have like some bumps there. But it's not as bad. I feel like this new prescription has definitely taken like the bumpiness, especially on my forehead, down some. It used to be a lot worse. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what my skin looks like, the texture-wise, with makeup on. But yeah, enough rambling. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then we're going to apply the Tretinoin. <laughs> All right, so I am out of the shower looking like a fresh hard-boiled egg and I just wanna show you guys what my skin is looking like. And it is red. I take really hot showers. I know that's not really good for you, but I can't help it. I'm cold. <laughs> but yeah, it's mainly just really small bumps and like, what is it called? Scarring, acne scars. <laughs> Fun fact, really quick, this is really random, you can skip this if you want, but when I was breaking out the worst, what I noticed is I was eating peanut butter like every single day. And so I decided to stop eating peanut butter for like a while and I was also using, um, I don't know if I was using the CeraVe yet at the time. I think I might have been. I know I was definitely using Tretinoin and I was not eating peanut butter. And I was seeing improvement in my skin. I hadn't been breaking out like crazy before. So a few weeks ago, I decided, hey, let me just try peanut butter again. Let me see if it does anything. And guess what happened? I broke out like crazy again. Like you can see the scarring. It started from here and went all the way down my face, which is how it was in the beginning when I was eating peanut butter every single day. And I read somewhere, I forget where, it might have been a video, I really don't know, but it said that some people, I think some people, I don't know if it's everyone, um, can break out from eating peanut butter. And apparently I'm one of those people because that's really weird. I started eating peanut butter again. Not a lot, just a little bit for like a week. And that's what happened. I have pictures I'll throw up, but yeah, no more peanut butter for me, which is really sad because I loved peanut butter. And apparently I have like a sensitivity or a slight allergic reaction to almond butter or just almonds in general. Okay, so enough rambling. I am going to show you guys how I apply my tretinoin. First of all, this is the cleanser that I used in the shower. So I actually put this on my dry skin first and rub it in and then I go in with water and rub it in. Um, I've heard that's good for your skin and so far it's been working all right for me, but this is just the Benny Cream 
cleanser. It's like the most basic cleanser ever. Um, yeah, and this is also fungal acne safe. Not 100% if I have fungal acne or like a mixture, but I always try and pick out products that are fungal acne safe just in case. At first I was putting on my moisturizer and then the tretinoin on top of it. Um, I wasn't really noticing a ton of dryness, so I decided to try putting the tretinoin on first and then my moisturizer, and that is when I noticed it working a lot better. Um, I know it's probably not recommended. I know a lot of people like to use moisturizer first just to help with dryness, but I wasn't noticing a ton of dryness, so I've been using it like this and it seems to be working a lot better this way. So to each their own, it's your face, do whichever you want. <laughs> first of all, you gotta wash my hands because I've been touching stuff and yeah, just always have clean hands before you touch your face. I know my last video I was touching my face a lot. I promise I normally do not do that. Um, I was just like for the video sake I was like look here. Um, yeah probably shouldn't have done that but yeah I promise I don't do that all the time. That's not why uh, my skin has broken out and looked like this but it's definitely a lot better. It's just these acne scars which I have a product or a couple products that I might be trying in a future video to help with that, so stay tuned. But yeah, I'm washing my hands. Also, make sure your face is completely dry before putting tretinoin on. But yeah, I just do about that much. And again, just like the CeraVe, I put a dot here, put a dot here, put a dot here, and I put two small dots on my forehead and just rub it in. Sometimes I add a little extra if I don't think um, I have enough to reach across all of my face. I think I got that rubbed in and my face is super red now, which is great. Hello and welcome back once again to my bathroom. <laughs> so today is week two, three, three, definitely three. So today is week three of using my new strength of tretinoins. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower, take off my makeup, well, take off my makeup, then hop in the shower, cleanse my face, come back, and we will apply the tretinoin and see what my skin is currently looking like at week three. I think I skipped week two. I had to work every single day last week, and it was just a depressing time. So I feel like every... Yeah, every video, though what, I've only done one other video like this. But the last video I ended up skipping a week too, just because life is depressing. I don't think I took pictures either, I'm so sorry. Um, I will do better next time, I will strive to do better, I promise. I am freshly out of the shower. My skin is really red, um, because I like to take hot showers. Um, but this is what my skin is looking like. I also took pictures I'll put on the screen that might show it a bit better, but... Yeah, it's mainly just a bunch of scarring right now. Um, there is some small bumps here and there, but for the most part, it is just scarring. I did have a couple breakouts, a couple of large breakouts on my chin recently, which was kind of weird. But other than that, it's mainly just scarring, so yay. I just washed my hands, just using a half a pump and dotting this all over my face like that and just rubbing it in. I only use the one hand to rub it in. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I put any excess on my nose just because I heard it helps with like blackheads and stuff. Um, so yeah, now my face is extra extra red. How cute. Hello and welcome to week number four, the very last week of me testing out my new prescription of tretinoin and uh, seeing if it does anything for my skin. So this is what my skin is looking like on week four. I did have a big spot come up right here like just yesterday. I don't know why. And then there's my forehead. So yeah, it is pretty red right now. I just got out of a hot shower. Um, so it's a little more red than usual, but yeah, it's mainly just a ton of scarring. I ran out of soap, so I'm using my face wash as hand soap. I mean, it does the same thing, right? <laughs> so I got a little more on my finger than I normally use, but um, maybe I need the extra right now. It looks like it, so. Again, just gonna dot this all over my face and rub it in. 
All right, and there we go. Now my face is even more red after rubbing that and I forgot some right here. All right, so this was week number four. I'm gonna come back at the very end of this week and we can do an update and see what my skin is looking like after the fourth week. And yeah, hopefully it will have made a difference. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't looked back at old pictures. To me, my skin just always seems the same um, until I look at picture and be like, oh, it is better or it's worse. So yeah, I will come back and show you guys what my skin is looking like at the end of week four. Hello and welcome to the end of week four and my crazy hair. I just wanna give an update right here. I'm not sure what happened. Um, yeah, that happened. I got one giant bump on my forehead. And then I just got another one directly on top of it. So now it's just like one mega zit. That's just great. That is fantastic. It's just what I wanted. The reason this happened, I went like one extra day without washing my hair. And like my hair kind of like falls right here, the little pieces, and gets on my forehead. So I think that's why like the oils for my dirty hair got on my forehead and that's what happened. Because everything else is the same. Yeah, I only wear makeup once a week now. By the way, I've been doing that since November. Um, so that's not the issue. Stopped eating peanut butter and that's not the issue. I'm thinking it's gluten, but right now with my health issues, like I can't really go gluten free because that's pretty much what I'm living off of right now. Also got one right under my nose, which is cute. The rest of my face isn't so bad. It's just that giant spot on my forehead that came out of nowhere. Um, from my dirty, greasy hair. That's actually where it came from. <laughs> um, so I know I can't go that many days without washing my hair or that will probably happen. So yeah, I, I guess it did kind of help my skin. At this point, it's kind of hard to tell because I feel like it just looks the same. There's just like new breakouts like right here and right here. And then they go away and then I'll get a couple new ones and then they'll go away and they just all leave behind a scar and, and I'm left with this. Um, but yeah, end of week four, my stronger strength tretinoin. I do think it definitely is helping. Um, I just think I have to give it more time and, uh, yeah, see what happens. I will, of course, keep you guys updated in future videos of what my skin is looking like. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.